So now it was difficult to stream to multiple platform using the OBS software. That is because the OBS software itself only support one platform at a time. You can't stream to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, all those platforms at the same time. So you can only do one at a time. And then in the year 2020, this plugin was introduced and that is the multiple RCMP output OBS plugin, which added that functionality, allowing the OBS users to multi-stream to other platforms meaning you can do to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, all of them at the same time. But then again, there was a problem because there's no other alternative out there. So meaning if you want to stream to multiple platforms using the OBS software, it has to be using this particular plugin. So there's no other plugin that you could try out or test out to stream to multiple platforms using the OBS software. So this was the only one available in the market. But it's a new year and a new plugin has emerged, which is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. So I'm going to be sharing with you the name, how to set it up. I'm also going to be doing a close comparison of the new plugin and also the multi RTMP plugin as well for you to know which one you should be using. And all of that is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. So if you just come across this channel for the first time, smash that red subscribe button below and we'll be right back. So <music> plugin is called Atom Multi Stream, and there's the same company that did the Vertical Scenes OBS plugin. They are also the same company that made this particular one, which you could use to stream to multiple platforms. Now, the only difference between the Vertical Scenes and this one is the Vertical one you could use it to stream, you know, to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram on a vertical size. But this particular one you could use it to stream on landscape instead of portrait. So, if you want to do a portrait stream, you use the Vertical Scenes, and if you want to do a landscape uh, stream, you also use the multi stream so they made it you know side by side and i love it a lot so i've been testing it out along with also the motor stream which is the one i've been using for a very long time before i made this particular video i love the fact that they also support you know youtube they support tiktok and some other platform which you're also going to be diving up i don't know how you can be able to set them up in this particular video so let's just without any delay let's go ahead and download it and install it i'm just going to go ahead and click on this go to download button here and once you get to this web page, just wait for like a second, maybe three, four, five seconds, you should see a pop up of the download link for you to be able to download it. And don't forget, I'll also drop the link in the description of this particular video. And this is what I'm talking about here. So once you click on start, it will start downloading the standard. Let's go ahead and install it. This is it right here on the screen. So just right click open. That is it. And that will install the plugin. And this is how it's going to look like. In case you don't see this pop up on your own OBS software, here how you can be able to do that. Let me just go ahead and close this. Go ahead and go over to docs. We have docs here at the top of the screen. And down here, you're going to look for the Eto multi stream here, which is what you can see right here on the screen. Just tick it and that will bring up this pop up you see right here on the screen. And this is how to bring it up on your own OBS software should in case it didn't pop up on its own. And once you're already up here, go over and click on the setting icon here. You can see right here on the screen, click on this. And from here, you're going to see the main canvas here and also the vertical canvas. The vertical canvas is to set up your vertical stream. And for you to be able to use this, you must have the vertical sense plugin installed on your own OBS software, which I made a video on, like I said earlier. And go over to the main canvas here and click on this add output here. Once you click on this add output here, you're going to see a list of platform here. You're going to see Twitch, you're going to see YouTube, you're going to see TikTok, you're going to see Facebook, you're going to see Truvo, you're going to see Twitter, you're going to see Geek, and also you're going to see other services. Now for the YouTube one, all you have to do just to click on it, if you want to set up your YouTube stream, then go over to YouTube to copy your stream key. I think I also made a video on that. And then over here on TikTok too, you cannot use it currently to stream on TikTok. TikTok has introduced its own um, live stream software. So it will, not, it will not allow you to integrate it on this plugin because they've introduced their own software that you could use to stream on your own system, both on your Mac and on your Windows to the TikTok, to your own TikTok account. Now over here, if you want to do the Facebook one, if you want to do the Truvo, and then also the Twitter one that you're seeing here, you can be able to set it up using Twitter. Uh, you just click on it. So if you have your Twitter stream key, you just paste that right here on the screen, which I'm also going to make a video on how you could be able to assess that. Now, if you want to stream to other platform that supports custom RTMP, just click on this other services here. Now get your server URL and also your stream key. And once you are done, just go ahead and click on create 
output. The multi RTMP output is also okay too. For those of you that are still using it, it's perfectly fine. But this particular one, you could be able to set up your stream, you know, both for landscape and also for portraits. So you can be able to set up your stream and all of them will run independently on their own. Now, for example, let's say I want to set up my stream for landscape and also I want to set up my stream for portrait. Just click on the settings here. Go back to the vertical a canvas here. Click on this place. And then you can also add other platform that you want to stream vertically through. It can be to Instagram or you have to do just click on this other services here. Get your Instagram server URL and also the stream key from Instagram. I made a video on that. I will leave all the links in the description of this video on how you can be able to get your server URL and stream key from Instagram. Punch it right here and you can be able to create your own vertical stream. Let's do a quick stream setup on YouTube. So I'm just going to go ahead, open this, copy the stream key from here, open the software, paste the stream key here and create. This is our YouTube stream. And what setting does it do? Click on the advanced settings here. You can see the video encoder is set on main encoder. And because it's set on main encoder, we cannot be able to start our stream from this plugin. So we have to start our stream from the OBS software before you can start our stream from the plugin right here on the screen. Uh, if you don't want to do it like that, you want to leave the OBS start stream button, you don't want to play around with it or start your stream from the OBS software before you work on this one. What you have to do just to alter it, remove it from the main encoder, and you can select any of the encoder you have there on the screen. So you should quick sync anyone you want to make use of. Okay. So if your system also has the NVIDIA graphics embedded on it, you could also select any of the you see the NVIDIA graphics pop up right there on the screen. And you can set your FPS here, your rate control, your bit rate. Now, if you want to the CPA you uh, usage, you could set just put that on slower your profile. Could set it on high depending on the type of system that you're actually making is all right just click on ok and once you click on start here your stream is going to start on its own you can see right here on the screen let's go ahead and check it out you can see right here the stream has already started on the screen and if you take a look at the side here i did not start any stream from the obs software so i'm just going to go ahead and end that so i did not start any stream from the obs software here and the stream is already going so if you want to do it like that you can alter the settings from here. All you have to do is click on the settings here and then go over to your main canvas here. Just all the stream that you have, you just click on the advanced settings and be able to set something else on them. Now, if you also want to change the keys, just click on output settings here and you could be able to change the keys as well. How about if you also want to add more platform? All you have to do is just to click on the settings here wait for a second go to the main canvas and then over here you can click on add so you can add more so there's no limit to any amount of platform you can add you can add up to four you can add up to five you can stream to up to six different platforms at the same time and that is all about this particular plugin thank you very much and let me know what you think about it see you on the next one